Hi guys, Nathan with Fan on Militia here. We got Zach behind the camera. Uh, what we wanted to do today was go ahead and show you our R50 Pro Seeker O light flashlight. Um, it is the LE edition. Um, it came with some neat stuff uh, that would be useful for law enforcement, uh, like a car charger. It also comes uh, came with a base charger where you go ahead and set the flashlight like that. Um, and it charges just from touching the bottom there. Um, so what, we, what I was going to do is I was going to give you some uh, specifics on this and then we we're going to go do a small demonstration uh, out in a little bit darker area. Uh, so this flashlight uses a 26650 battery uh, to operate. Um, it also has a pretty neat feature where it has a glow-in-the-dark bevel. Sort of looks like the writing on the inside of the one ring to rule them all from Lord of the Rings. And I'm going to go ahead and give you some specifics that I can't remember all of them. Uh, what I can tell you is this has several different modes. Uh, if you click it once and you, then you click and hold it, it will cycle from low, medium to high. Um, when you click it twice, it will go into turbo mode. And when you click it three times, it will go into um, a strobe light mode. Uh, so at turbo mode, it will run, uh, it'll do 3200 lumens for a minute and a half, and then it will go down to 1000 lumens for 150 minutes. Um, on low, we're looking at 60 lumens, but it'll also operate for 50 hours. So not only does it have the battery life, but it also has the battery power to run at 3200 lumens. So it's a pretty good all around flashlight. Um, you know, it's certainly powerful enough to uh, melt a snowflake or at least get you sued by a snowflake for assault when you put it in strobe light mode. We all know how that goes. Um, the throw on this is going to be 250 meters, and it's also uh, 15,600 candlelight power. Um, but again, you should really go off the lumens. But anyways, let's go ahead and take this out to a little bit darker area, and we'll show you guys what it looks like. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and then I'm going to press and hold to cycle through the low, medium, and high settings. Just like that. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to mention was you can see that it does have a lit button. That's pretty useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on turbo. Let's do a little look around. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on strobe light, or like I call it, like to call it, um, assault light mode. Um, one thing to note is the button, when it is lit up like this, uh, indicates that it is dying. Um, so we really should probably charge this first, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, uh, we wanted to go over the flashlight and if you guys have any questions or comments please let us know we'll be happy to answer that um one thing i have this back in turbo mode those trees are i don't know what 75 yards i'd say the the the, the orchard up there is probably 75 yards um so we could Definitely, you definitely see eyes on a deer at that range. Um, and you can see the outline of the trees as well. So that was just a quick demonstration um, of what the flashlight 
operates like and looks like. Uh, again, if anybody has any questions, please let us know. We'd be happy to answer them. Um, as always, we hope you found this useful and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.